Maybe it's Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, or Lindsey Vaughn. Or maybe it's Kathy Freeman, Seb Coe, or Nadia Kamenechi. We all know the Olympic Games, right? Every four years, the world comes together, more than 200 countries, and the best athletes compete for a medal. And we're all watching. But have you ever wondered what's behind the games? How is it all organized? Who puts it all together? And yes, who pays for it? Well, most of us know it all began a long time ago, 3,000 years ago to be precise, in ancient Greece. But someone, Pierre de Coubertin, had the bright idea to bring it all back. And to do that, he set up the International Olympic Committee, a little over 100 years ago. But the IOC couldn't do it all alone, and still can't. They need a little help from their friends. So, who does what? Each of the sports that takes part in the Olympic Games has an international federation that runs the sport all year round. From rules to referees to records, that's their job. And then there are the more than 200 national Olympic committees around the world. Their job is to select the best athletes and get them ready for the Games. So, we've got the sports and we've got the athletes. And we can get them to the Games. But then there's the host city, which brings the whole thing to life. And that's a big job. And that's a long job. Seven years from the moment the IOC chooses the host city until the moment the cauldron is lit and the games begin. Think about all the things that need to be done to make the games happen. Not just the stadiums, the pools, the ski slopes, but where are the athletes going to stay? What are they going to eat? And how are they going to get to their events? That's what the organizing committee does. It's a very big job, and it takes all those seven years working with the IOC to get it done. And sometimes it can be a bumpy journey. In the summer, there are 10,500 athletes competing in 28 sports. And they have coaches, doctors, trainers, friends, and family. In the winter, it's about 2,500 athletes in seven sports. And they need a lot of people too. And think about the equipment. Several hundred pairs of skis in the winter. In the summer, the equestrian athletes need their horses and the rowers need their boats. They've all got to be delivered to the right place at the right time in good condition especially the horses. Okay, so it's a big task, that's for sure. And someone has to pay for it. So, where does the money come from? A large part comes from broadcast rights. Broadcasters pay to air the games in their country. More than half the world's population watched at least some of London 2012. And we also partner with some of the world's leading companies who provide funding for the games and the more than 200 Olympic teams and their athletes. They also supply products and expertise that help the games run smoothly. So, the games are paid for mainly by the IOC and the organizing committee. But governments sometimes take the opportunity of the games to build or improve roads or airports or housing. That can also leave a lasting benefit for the city. But you're probably wondering what happens to the money that's left over and what goes on between the games. The good news is that the money that's left goes back into sport more than 90% is redistributed to sport around the world. Not just to help the Olympic Games, but to develop sport. After all, the Olympics is about using sport to make the world a better place. Some of the money goes in scholarships to help fund athletes in their training. It might help pay for a coach for a promising sprinter or provide transportation for a skater to get to the Games. And we fund sport where you play too. We support your national Olympic committee and local sports groups. And we work with other groups like the United Nations to bring sport, equipment, and kit to schools and local clubs. We spend a lot of time contributing to building a better world through sport. For example, there's the Youth Olympic Games, helping young athletes to live the Olympic dream and its values. And we use events like Olympic Day, June 23rd, to try to get you to do sport. We want the world to get active and live a healthy lifestyle. And we want to ensure women get the same access to sport as men. At the Olympics, all sports are now open to women, and every single nation has now sent women to the Games. We also want to make sure the competition is fair, so we support the athletes and the fight against doping. And then finally, when it's all over and an athlete has run his last race or swam her last length, the IOC also works to try to help them get jobs. When you've spent your whole young life committed to excellence in sport, sometimes you forget about your future, and that's where we lend a helping hand. So, we all love the Olympic Games, but the Olympics is about more than just two weeks every four years. 
We work all year round, using sport to make the world a better place. To find out more, have a look at our website, olympic.org.